Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Good morning. I'm Rapstein of Lynn and Associates with your morning flash update for this Tuesday, the 11th of July, 2017, about 9.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. It's a quiet trading day. I've got my glasses on for no reason whatsoever, but I do have them on. And as we're looking at the market, very stable in the stock indices. Metal market's down still a bit here. It almost looks like uh, the gold-silver ratio might be ready to start giving ground where gold loses a little bit to silver. It's been a pretty much one-sided event. The Aussie dollar staying stable, if you will, the dollar up. Uh, Euro, you, you can't really say too much. It's one of these summer days where there just isn't a lot going on. I'm still very concerned about the energy prices. It, uh, I was reading stories on the way in today on Reuters where now they're saying by 2020, the U.S. will be a net exporter of about 2.5 million barrels a day of oil. That's pretty big. I've got to tell you that that's not a little bit of oil that we're going to be sending out. Puts us into the OPEC arena. Uh, and OPEC, they're saying, will probably drop back on production because they're not putting money into infrastructure. Unfortunately, I don't buy all those uh, things that are being said. OPEC says many self-serving things. Part of OPEC's problems and, and the problem here has been, yes, they say they're curtailing production, but they never tell you what they had in reserves of stocks. And so they keep exporting those numbers. So they're not producing as much they're exporting, and the market doesn't see a difference. And that's part of what's going on right now. In the grain markets, uh, a setback today. That's all that you can say. I doubt that the grain bowl is over, but you get these setbacks from time to time as weather shifts take place and so on. But when it's over, you'll know it. There'll be some violent action out of it, but that's not the case. Last night we did see that the conditions report in corn and soybeans were both down several notches. It kicked the markets up this morning, and now traders have been able to take some profits, if you will, and say, okay, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves, and those are the events there. In terms of data today, uh, the wholesale and sales recap came out. Inventories up four-tenths, the market expected up three-tenths, the previous, uh, the May wholesale sales, let me say it that way, right in line, down a half a percent. Inventories, 1.29 months. In Canada, housing starts in Canada rose 9.1% from the previous month. That's good news. President Trump's going to nominate Randall Quates to the Federal Reserve Board and is expected to fill the position of Vice Chair of uh, Supervision. Uh, the nomination, subject, of course, to U.S. Senate confirmation, and nothing goes easy there. The international agency had uh, on Tuesday said if current demand trends and oil investment trends uh, continue, then there could be a spike in oil by 2020. Maybe. I'd like to see how everybody responds. Plenty of time. Iran's energy minister said the country's current oil capacity is 4 million barrels a day, and they expect to add 800,000 barrels a day of capacity over the next five years. That sort of flies in the face of this 2020. This is why I, I question that. And while it's going to run $140 billion, they are forecasting two-thirds of the need which is going to come from foreign firms. It won't be the U.S. You can count on that. The China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, uh, which is they had declines in April and May sales, June picked itself up. And that's good because we don't want to see China, if you will, get too slow in their economy. Their buying of goods keeps everything good for us as well. This whole world's intertwined, so they're a big trading partner, and you, you want to make certain of what they're doing. It affects copper. It'll affect all the metal markets that we watch one way or the other. Now, Modern Trader Magazine, the August issue is now ready to be sent out. If you don't get this, you want to, you can get a free one-year subscription from us. If you go on the Internet to get it, you're going to pay $79.95. You're going to get the one-year subscription, and they've done a whole new look to the magazine. Just take a look. You haven't seen this if you get it now. These are all different ideas that they've thrown in. They keep throwing in more and more. The commentary stays very similar. Example, 
the sidewinder trading method. How do you go about that? What is it? Should you apply it to what you're doing? Trading head and shoulder reversals. And this isn't limited to futures. This is ETFs, derivatives, stocks itself. They will talk to you options, option plays in the stock market. Then to go along with it, you see this market focus. A daily review. Remember, the magazine comes out once a month. Market focus comes out every day. It all comes to you via email from us. And they've got a brand new reader that they've made. So much easier to read on your screen. It's, it literally reads like, you know, you see on Kindle and so on. Flip a page, the page moves back and forth. Quite easy to read. And yes, you can print from it. So how do you get this? It's simple. Go to our website, www.irapstein.com. You can call us, 866-973-2077. You can click up here. If you're watching me on YouTube, you'll see an icon. Underneath us on many websites, it says click here for Ira's free offer. One-year subscription to Modern Trader. And, of course, you get your daily focus. What do you got to lose? It's all free, and it's a great magazine. And scale 1 to 10 of my viewing of magazines. I've been reading this since they came out uh, as Futures Magazine. It's my highest rating. You have yourself a great day. I will talk to you all this afternoon.